Earlier this month, the LPGA Tour travelled to the Acala Golf and Equestrian Club in Florida for the second event of the 2016 season, the Coates Golf Championship. One of the 120 players in the field was LPGA rookie Ashton Ramsey. Golfing World took the opportunity to sit down with one of the tour's newest faces to talk about her hopes for the season and how she's made it to the biggest stage in women's golf. It's been very exciting so far um, this year as a rookie and I've had to figure out a lot of different things and a lot of different aspects of life that I, you know, wasn't quite expecting. You have to manage your time and your and your team around you and just make sure that all the ducks are in a row and it's it's a lot going on at one time. Ashton showed her potential in her very first round as a full-time LPGA member, firing a five under par 68 to share the first round lead at the season opener in the Bahamas. Sadly, she followed that up with an 82, which was something of a reality check, but still an encouraging start. It was a good learning experience for me, just having such a good round and then, you know, obviously I didn't want it to go the way that it did, but I learned something from it and I think that's what's important. I'm going to play a lot of rounds this year, but I'm not scared of leading, I'm not scared of being in that position, so I think that's a good thing to take away from it. Performing under pressure is something Ashland's already comfortable with, having played Curtis Cup and Junior Solheim as an amateur. Knowing she needed something special heading into the final round of Q School, she stepped up with a very impressive 67 to comfortably earn her card. That final day, I just remember thinking the night before, like, this is it, you can either get it done or it's not going to happen. So. Um, I, I feel really comforted that I knew it was in my control and if I could play a good round and make some birdies then I would leave it up to me not, you know, trying to back my way into the <laughs> top 20. Ashton turned pro after her freshman year at Clemson University, but injury and the loss of a financial backer forced her to take on two part-time jobs to try to get her career back on track. I think when I was working the part-time jobs and had the back injury, I knew I would figure it out. So I, I was, you know, a little bit down on myself, but it, it gave me a huge mental break, which is a positive. It um, made me want to go to the golf course, and I was so hungry to just get better and to start playing again. And so when I actually did come back, the bad rounds were like, well, hey, I'm at least I'm swinging a club now. Still needing financial assistance to make ends meet, Ashton did what any millennial would do when in trouble. She turned to the internet for assistance. She set up a GoFundMe page to raise money. The response is something the 20-year-old will never forget and will always be grateful for. I couldn't have afforded Q School without it. I couldn't have afforded to play the 10 Symmetra events that I did. It's amazing to have um, such a great and supportive family and, and friends around me who are giving up something um, you know, that they could buy for themselves to, to pay an entry fee or just pay something here and there, which is awesome. Making the transition from amateur into the professional ranks can often prove to be daunting and difficult. So the LPGA assists all of its rookies by placing them into a pod with a more experienced player. So this year, Ashton will be able to lean on fellow American Austin Ernst for assistance. I actually knew her um, before we got put together in a pod and we have the same agent. So it's very nice to have someone I'm really comfortable with. I got given a new nickname. It's AB, Austin's buddy. I'm not Ashlyn anymore, I'm Austin's buddy. <laughs> Another player Ashlyn's very familiar with is Lydia Ko, currently setting the benchmark for excellence on the LPGA Tour. Ashland knew a long time ago what was going to happen when the talented New Zealander, and now world number one, made it to the professional ranks. I've known her from amateur golf, so I've probably known her like four years now. And, you know, just even playing a practice round with her back then, it was automatic with the wedges, and, you know, every up and down was just so easy for her. And I remember my sister was catting for me and I looked at her during the practice round and I was like, she's got it figured out. Like, she knows what she's doing. Being a member of the LPGA and getting to tee it up against the sport's biggest names on the best courses in the world is not something to be taken for granted. 
That's certainly the mindset Ashton Ramsey will be maintaining as she lives out her childhood dreams in 2016. We did a little project in fifth grade and it was like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I put an LPGA uh, golfer and you had to do it at the beginning of the year and the end of the year. And mine was the same, but, and it's still the same. So it's kind of cool just to see that, you know, it really is something I've wanted to do my whole life. And now I'm actually getting the opportunity to do it. I just want to make the most of it.